Hello and welcome to another Make a Flash game tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to import a background using an XML file. This tutorial is a bit more complicated than other tutorials so I've already written um, the code and but I'm going to go over all of it um, so that you'll understand it. Alright so to start off with um, go into uh, open all your flash files so flash game main character and those are the only three that you'll have at the moment and once you've done that go into your actions layer and then you'll see this code that I put in here um, the swift swift width 400 height 200 in the frame rate um, this defines how big the um, uh, test area is when we press control and enter oh, you can't really see it at the moment but yeah that'll change so that'll change the um, the width to 400 and the height to 200 it's pretty straightforward alright so now we're going to create um, two new classes the first class is going to be called level so we go to new um, action script class and type level um, then next create a new class called XML loader. So go to, once again to action script class and call it XML oops, XML loader. Awesome. Okay. So once you've done that, um, we're gonna go back and create our background. All right. Before we start, make sure you're on the second layer or an empty layer, and then. We know our um, background is going to have to be 400 by 200, which is the same size as our Swift um, our test uh, debugger. So we can go create a shape and then click on it. Um, then go to properties and change the width to 400 and the height to 200. You just click it to change it. Make sure the lock is unlocked so you can change them by themselves. Okay, so now that we've created this background, we're going to select all of it and convert it to a symbol. Press export for action script and we're going to call this symbol MV background. Like so. Awesome. Okay, now we can delete it from the stage. Okay, now once we've done that, we're going to create the XML file which is going to store our background. Um, the great thing about XML files is that they're really easy to use and you can store hundreds of things on there and it'll be exactly the same as if we're storing one thing um, but it'll be really easy to load everything into your game all right so open notepad or something similar and just a basic uh, writing program and we're going to write what i've got in this level test so i'm just going to copy it in there um, just write exactly what i've written and once you've written it, press save and then save it as level test, level capital T test dot XML. And make sure you save it in the main main folder um, of your game. So outside of script, just in flash stuff or wherever. Alrighty, um, so once you save that. So once we've done that, we're going to go into our XML loader class. Alright, so the code's already in here, but um, I'm going to explain what everything does. So first off, we're going to import all, all of these um, four imports. Alright, so at the moment, we have this variable called XML loader, and its type is URL, URL loader. And as you can see down here, um, it's loading our XML file and then once it's loaded the XML file it runs this function here which then stores the data in this variable called XML data and then once we've done that we assign background items which is up here which is an XML list um, the data um, that under in background in the background tag so under these tags so it's only this line here so all this data is going to be assigned to background items 
and then we say for each item in background items we've only got one um, we want to create a new asset and we want to store that asset in, the, in an array now just to get values out of um, our XML file you see we've got X Y class name and scale we're not going to use scale but to get values out we just go I dot at class name which was there which equals to MV background and then I X and Y and then we put that into a new array and then we put that into an, a, another array that we've already made now I don't know um, how much you know about arrays but um, it would be a good thing to look up they're pretty useful um, when you're making a game you'll definitely come across at least one of them basically an array is a place where you can store variables or objects and you can access it um, through an index um, it probably doesn't make much sense at the moment but just trust me alright and then once we've got all this data into our, our array we send it off um, uh, we make a function that when you access current assets you get the uh, array that we've created so now if we go into level once we've had a look at all that let's go into level and as you can see we have created an XML um, XML loader in our level class which means we'll be able to load the data from the XML loader into our level class and we've also created another array which um, down here asset array goes into the XML class and accesses current assets which is right here and it so it takes that array and puts it into this new one um, which can be used in the level class so once it's in the level class um, it searches through this um, it searches through um, the array and finds um, if the array contains um, the class name MV background and then if it does which it will because we've only got one which is right there if it does then it creates a new background and gives the background the coordinates of um, what we typed in our XML file and then it adds it adds that to the stage so it adds a new background to the stage Alright, so once we've done all that, um, I know it's probably a bit complicated, but as long as you've got all this, then you should be alright. Let's go back into our main file, and we're going to have to import it in here, just like we had before with the other classes. So type private, oops, private variable XML loader dot dot, oh, let's just call it XML dot dot XML loader. And we also want to import level, so private variable level dot dot level. And then we don't need to add the XML loader to the stage, but we do need to add level. So level equals new level add child level. Okay. Now once we've done that, we need to make sure that the background is going to update to the stage. So let's type make a new function called update and we call it in our loop so every ticket's going to update it um, public function update void. and then we want it to go into level and call display assets like that so now it'll display a newly created background that we just made. So if you test that, there you go. So we've got our background in the back and everything is working. If you didn't understand everything in this tutorial, don't worry. Most of it's um, pretty difficult to get your head around, but um, my advice would be just to go on, uh, go find other tutorials on an XML loader and have a look at how they work because um, they're pretty useful um, in the game, in your game development process. So in this tutorial, you learned how to um, use an XML loader to import a background. That's almost it for the basics 
uh, for making a game. There's there's quite a bit more to learn, but um, in the next few tutorials, I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic snake game where we can utilize um, everything that we've learned so far. If you found this tutorial useful or you enjoyed it, um, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, just leave a comment.